Every day, Jan Benchik sits in his local cafe and campaigns against neo-Nazis. He exposes online far-right extremism in Slovakia and those behind it. His activity has brought him death threats. He wrote my name on the bullet. It said, only for you, in English. The 69-year-old pensioner refuses to be intimidated. He began tracking down far-right websites almost three years ago. His work has led to many accounts being blocked and various neo-Nazi networks being dismantled. Benchik is now up against a powerful opponent, Marian Kotleba, the leader of the People's Party, Our Slovakia. The party is becoming increasingly popular. Many supporters are openly racist, anti-Semitic and anti-Roma. Some analyze Adolf Hitler. The party won 8% of the vote in the national elections last year. Benchik says Kotleba and his supporters control over 100 Facebook pages. The largest page has 100,000 followers. Kotleba is also dangerous because he's very intelligent by comparison to many of his supporters. He has two university degrees and he knows how to mask his activities and keep them within the bounds of legality. This is how he was able to become governor of the district of Banska Bystrica in 2013. Jan Benchik traveled with us to the region to give us an insight into Kotleba's activity. It's a dangerous undertaking. Everyone has an instinct of self-preservation. Of course I'm scared and that's natural. My wife is very worried, but I don't want to allow them the pleasure of giving in to their threats and stopping what I do. The district capital seems like a pretty town at first glance, but it has a history of unemployment and corruption. Many locals blame the establishment for all that, and that's why some of them support Kotleba. Kotleba promised to change everything. However, 14 of his relatives are now directly employed by him, and many public contracts are awarded to his people. We got no response to our request to talk personally with Kotleba about these allegations. So we went straight to his offices. Many of his supporters were hanging out in front of the building. There was no trace of the party leader inside. None of his representatives will speak with us. And finally, we were asked to leave the building. The Museum of the Slovak National Uprising is located just a few hundred meters away. Its focus is the anti-Nazi resistance between 1939 and 1945. But according to the museum director, this has not prevented a rise in neo-Nazi ideology across Slovakia. He said that the message from the regional administration's current newsletter was that Jews rule the world. As we were leaving the museum, Benchik saw a car displaying the emblem of Kotleba's far-right party. I know the driver. He's called Richard. He's a right-wing activist. He's one of Kotleba's people. He's always following us around and filming us. But Jan Benchik is undeterred. The next day he's back at his laptop, continuing his campaign against neo-Nazis in his home country.